Hello, everybody. Welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. My wife has a new favorite. I'm going to show you how to make it. And surprisingly, the total cost of the meal will be not that much different from a trip to McDonald's, believe it or not. What wonderful dish can be so tasty and cheap? Well, come on, everybody. Let's get cooking. Today, we're making filet mignon. And I'm going to show you that the price for our filet mignon, which we bought at Costco, will be kind of about the price of what you'd pay at McDonald's for dinner for four. At least, it's about what we'd pay. I'll have a comparison right now. Here are the ingredients. For a family of four, I got two pounds of filet mignon. Bought mine at Costco, where they have the choice version at $15.99 a pound. Make sure you get the choice version, the prime version, which I'm sure tastes really good. It's at about $24 a pound. A lot more expensive. A drizzle of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste. Let's get our grill ready to fire up. Adding some avocado oil to the grates with a very high smoke point. Every time before I grill, avocado oil on the grill. For its high smoke point. Got some real today, so now it's gonna fire it up. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. They're all on and running, so we're gonna close it. Wait about five, ten minutes, let it heat up and get ready for barbecue. Okay, we've got my red board out, and you know what that means meat. All right, so we're going to drizzle some olive oil on this prime. Drill some olive oil on the filet mignons front and back. See, I just did it once. Rub it on front and back. Front, back to keep it from sticking as much as we can. We added some olive oil. The grill is already prepared with the avocado oil to help that work. Now that we've got them all rubbed with olive oil, it's time to get that salt and pepper on. So after I oil them up and wash my hands, so I don't have to touch them again, get my hands clean so we can use some salt. Nice and dry hands, I, ooh, see that's too much salt. That's why I pour in my hand first. That's more salt than I like. I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt. I lied there, I have to touch it again. Oh well, spread it over on one side, flip them over. Some more, whoops, flip them over. Some more salt on the other side. Boom, salt, done. I rinse off my hand, get all that extra salt off. Now it's time to pepper them. My grill is heating up as we speak, that's why I can do this now. If my grill wasn't heating up, I would not attempt. You can see I like more pepper than salt. There we go, a nice coating of pepper. Let's do the other side, flip them all over. Get the other side peppered. Then I'll show you how to do them on the grill. Okay. Nice good pat on them to get the pepper into the meat. Salt and pepper and oil. It's filet mignon. Doesn't need any special seasoning. It is good as it is. Now that we heat it up, let's go put them on the grill. Two and a half minutes per side. We're gonna flip them twice and turn them halfway each time to get a nice grill mark. Today we're doing double grill. Filet mignon, two and a half per side. Romaine lettuce, one minute per side. Let's toss them on. You hear that sizzle from the filet mignon? Lovely sizzle. Smell it well. Two and a half minutes per side. Lettuce. 
Nice grill marks, one minute per side. For the filet mignon, two and a half minutes per side, double twice, whipped over, a nice medium rare when it's done. That's all the time you need, so together, it's going to take us 10 minutes to cook it. Time to flip and turn the filet mignon. Time to flip. Make sure it's the same direction. See those beautiful grill marks. In two and a half minutes, we're going to flip. Beautiful filet mignon, has wonderful grill marks. But make sure to put it in the hotter part of the grill, get it even better cooked. Again, two, one half minutes per side. Okay, another two and a half minutes have elapsed. This time we're gonna flip it over and turn it quarter so that we can get square grill marks. Flip it over. Turn it a quarter. Flip it over. Turn it a quarter. The way the grill marks are right now, you see them? You want them to be this way to get the other, the other grill marks? Flip it over. Turn a quarter. Two and a half more minutes to go, and then we'll flip it over one more time for two and a half minutes. Okay, another two and a half minutes passed. Let's flip over the final time. See the grill marks are going this way, so I flip over perfectly. Right there. Right there. Right there. And right there, you get a nice crisscross grill marks. If you look at this side, look at this one right here. Look at this one right here, it's got this beautiful crisscross grill marks. Two and a half more minutes, and it's done. Okay, it's been another two and a half minutes. We're gonna push in to make sure this is the right doneness we like. A lot of give, good. Oh, lots of give, that's good. Not as much give. Not as much give. Okay, so it looks like we got them in a good doneness. At least one of them is the way my daughter likes it. Got one right there. Take them off, you can see the other side of the grill marks. There we have four pieces laying on. Don't forget, this is gonna rest for 10 minutes or so. While you're doing that, Scrape off your grill. Get all those food pieces off. Just while the grill's nice and hot, doesn't matter. We're gonna burn all of it off. Burn everything off. We're gonna leave it on high like it is for 10 minutes, and then turn it off so we can burn everything out. Now the steak's resting 10 minutes. Let's cut through one or two of them to see how well done they are. Let's do the poke test, see how much give there is. Okay, these ones are more done than these two, so let's see what these two over here look like. Should be a nice medium rare. Cut the edge. A little more medium well than we wanted. Okay, take a look. Nice and red on the inside. So now we're going to taste and see what the kids think. Mm I just think it's a lot of flavor. I think I can taste salt and pepper. And it's extremely tender. This is the <clears throat> most tender steak I've ever had. And it's way better than McDonald's meal. McDonald's meal isn't even on the list compared to this for price. It would taste better with my mashed potatoes if we had them. Um
beef is more tender compared to others, but I don't really taste any flavor except for barbecue and salt. Since you've made this far, why don't you sizzle on that like button just like we sizzle those filet mignons on the grill. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to notify of all new videos that come out on Mondays. And just as best as those who don't watch this part of the video, slip the word mustard into your comment below for a chance at a shout out in my next video. Thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.